In this video, first we will learn in brief what is rate of reaction and how to calculate it and then we will learn the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction and then in terms of collision theory the effect of concentration will be explained and then the effect of concentration, change in concentration on the concentration time graph. So let's first start by understanding what is rate in brief. It's the measure of the speed of reaction. So we can say it is the measure of how fast the products are formed or reactants are used up with unit time. So here the time is also important because how fast is the reaction in comparison with time that gives us the rate. Rate of reaction then can be calculated by measuring either how much of amount of reactants are used up per unit time or the amount of products produced per unit time. Now let's understand the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction if we increase the concentration. That means that there are more amount of reactant particles present in the reaction mixture. If the concentration is less, then there are only few reactant particles which are going to collide and form the products. But if the concentration is more, there are more number of reactant particles which are going to collide at all together at the same time to produce the products. So that shows that if the reactant particles are more, there will be frequent collision among those particles, among the molecules of the reactants and hence there will be greater number of successful collisions per unit time. Now we have already seen in our earlier video what do we mean by successful collisions because all the reactant particles which are colliding will not end up forming the product. Only few collisions with enough energy with activation energy will be called successful because those collisions only are going to form the products and hence with increase in concentration the rate of reaction increases now if we have such a graph of concentration with time against time and this is the graph of the increase in the amount of products during the reaction because in reactants the graph will go down which we have not considered here we are just considering the graph of product concentration with time and we had also seen earlier that if we find the slope, the gradient at any particular time, then the rate, the speed of the reaction at that particular time would be found up if we draw a tangent at that particular time, at that particular point and find the gradient of that tangent that is if we find it is y2 minus y1 so that will be the change in the concentration the change in the concentration and if we divide by x2 minus x1 that's going to give us the change in the time i can also write in short delta t now this gradient is actually the rate so the gradient or slope at any particular given time with the help of a tangent is going to give us the rate at that particular time now suppose if we increase the concentration of reactants then how is the rate going to get affected that we have already seen in the earlier part that the rate will go will uh, be increasing the rate at which the products are formed will be increasing so here we will be able to see that the products are produced faster and that gives us a graph with a higher gradient a higher slope and so our new graph will be with a higher gradient or a higher slope and from this graph we can also make out that earlier the reaction would be ending up at this particular time but now with the increase in the concentration of reactants the reaction finished at a lesser time the earlier period the reaction got over so that shows that the rate has increased now if you find out the gradient at any given particular 
time of this new graph we will see that at the same time if you find out the gradient of the earlier graph the gradient will be lesser for the lower concentration and the gradient will be higher for the higher concentration of the reactant now here also there are two phases suppose if we are considering a reaction of calcium carbonate with a hydrochloric acid that produces calcium chloride and carbon dioxide and water now suppose if we measure the volume of carbon dioxide produced per unit time now i haven't shown you the balanced reaction but more important part is that if we measure the volume of carbon dioxide too find out the rate and this is how we get the graph then the concentration of hcl will produce this graph only in particular situation such a graph is going to get produced if hydrochloric acid is already excess but if calcium carbonate is excess and hydrochloric acid is limited so let me write limited here now in this case if we increase the concentration of hydrochloric acid then the shape of the graph is going to be little different now i'll explain you the reason first that earlier the hydrochloric acid was actually excess and so increasing the concentration is going to increase the number of collisions per unit time but here now if we increase the concentration of hydrochloric acid then it's actually increasing not only the concentration not only the number of particles but it's also increasing the amount of reactant both sides cal calcium carbonate is already excess and we have increased hydrochloric acid also so the amount of reactants increasing so the amount of product produced will also increase and the rate is also going to increase so how is the graph going to be now so in this case definitely the rate is going to be the higher but the volume of the carbon dioxide that is the amount of the product is also going to be higher so earlier the graph which was ending up at the same level because the vol amount of product was same now the amount of product has also increased along with the rate and so the product amount of product is increasing and so the graph will end up not only at a higher level but it will have an increased gradient also so here in concentration you should definitely consider that we are increasing the concentration of any solution how is it going to affect the rate in what way if hydrochloric acid is excess then it's going to end up at the same level but if the hydrochloric acid is limited and if we increase the concentration the graph is going to end up at a higher level and this is how the concentration may affect the rate in two different ways i hope this part is very clear now